Hello, Central Oregon. Eric Pasha here with Home Source of Neighbor Impact. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the importance of being able to create an emergency budget. This is a fantastic tool that you can use when you've experienced a major life change, say a loss of income or maybe a huge unexpected expense. It also works really great when your life situation has changed thanks to a global pandemic. Who knows? Throughout this process, we're going to need a few things, or maybe more importantly, we're going to need to know a few things. Of course, as we move along, feel free to pause the video as needed, gather what you need, and pick up back where you left off. Now let's get started. While we'll be talking about creating a budget, start by assessing your situation. Are there expenses that you can limit, like reducing energy usage, saving money on the food that you buy, how about other resources that you might have access to, like maybe an unemployment benefit or other services that have been made available to you in, re in the financial response to this virus? After you've done that, let's go ahead and turn to our expenses. I've found it helpful to group bills into four different categories. First, let's take it a look at the things that you need to get or keep a job. What transportation costs do you have to get to and from work? Think about your car payment, your gas, maybe your insurance. Do you have tools that you have to maintain or take care of to stay at work? What does it cost to do that? While you're at work, do you need someone to pay for childcare? How has that changed with recent events? Take a moment to write down those expenses now. Next, let's re-examine the things that you need to stay housed and to keep your utilities connected. What does your rent or mortgage payment look like? How about utilities? For your, your utilities, you may need to make your best guess here, and that's okay. Write down as many housing expenses as come to mind. Next, let's go ahead and shift to insurance. While it can be difficult to think about paying for insurance as part of the emergency budget, it can be vital to help you protect from even more financial hardship if you were to get sick or if you were to get into an accident. So let's think about it. What is your car insurance payment? How about health insurance, if not provided by your employer? Do you have home or renter's insurance that we haven't accounted for elsewhere? Write down the expenses that come to mind when you think about necessary insurance that you need to continue to hold. Lastly, take a moment to think through the obligations that you need to pay. Do you have court-ordered obligation like child support or other fines? How about other loans that we haven't talked about like credit cards? What other payments are you required to make or else you'll start getting some nasty phone calls? Be sure to account for all of that here and now. All right, now you've got the, your list. At this point, you may be looking at a lot. It's very easy to become overwhelmed and wonder how it's all going to get paid. That's okay. The reason that we create an emergency budget in the first place is to organize our most important bills and limit longer lasting financial damage. You have the power to make a positive impact in your financial life and it all starts right here. Okay, it's time to make some decisions. Looking down this list, you may realize that you're not able to pay everyone. We need to prioritize what bills you're going to pay first and those that we'll pay if we've got enough resources and money left over. Start with the most expensive, uh, most important expenses that we haven't covered yet. Food and anything else that is vitally essential. From here, take a look at your highest priorities. Maybe it's your housing and utilities. Maybe your job expenses are next. As you continue to look down those lists, are there any of those bills that you can pay later? You'll likely need to make a trade-off between paying the most important bills now and saving the rest for later. In response to the financial fallout of the coronavirus, Many lenders, utility providers, and landlords have been required to provide grace periods and to forego late payment charges and other fines. Keep this in mind when making your list, especially now. Using these grace periods to your advantage can be life-saving to your finances, especially when the alternative can be borrowing money that is costly through credit cards or other expensive types of loans. Keep in mind that you wanna cut expenses where possible not add the possibility of high interest payments and more fines or fees going into the future. Now, after you've made your list of most to least important, we're nearly there. 
For the bills that you can pay, make sure that you have a plan on how to pay them on time. It's virtually and vitally important that you keep up on as many bills as possible. For the bills that you're unable to pay this month, call your creditors and tell them why. Most companies, especially now, will offer flexibility when it comes to paying your bills. But your communication is the key to making that happen. Your communication is going to be important to help you navigate through this time. Going forward, you may choose to rotate those bills that you pay each and every month to keep on top of your situation. Of course, if you need help to identify how to move forward, we here at Neighbor Impact can help you create a plan to move towards financial stability now and into the future. I'm hoping that if you've, as you've written down your expenses, this has helped you to organize your thoughts and create a productive emergency budget for you and your finances going forward. My name is Eric Pasha with Home Source of Neighbor Impact. Thanks so much for joining us. Be well and stay safe out there.